the top 10 causes of, of complications in the, in the, from the New York data, hypertension is number one, then diabetes, then high cholesterol, coronary artery disease or heart disease, dementia, um, and then atrial fibrillation, which is, you know, atrial fibrillation is an, another word for an arrhythmia of your, uh, of your heart, and then also chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, kidney disease, cancer and congestive heart failure. So I'm not saying for the folks who have asthma, just, you know, you blow it off. No, um, you know, nothing needs to be done. It's not so much that. It's the fact that, you know, the data shows that that is not even the top 10 of complications. Very important to know that for the folks who are really worried about, you know, asthma uh, being a complicated a complication uh, risk factor. But so far in the New York data, it's not really um, uh, one that that is panning out in the top 10. Again, be vigilant, we'll see what's going on. What else? So we, we find out now also that high, uh, obesity, along with hypertension, not only hypertension, but obesity may be a, another risk factor, especially for young adults. Young adults, and also all of us, obesity is a risk factor. We know for, for a long time that obesity could do what? Worsen all kinds of diseases, chronic diseases, for example, um, heart disease, strokes, uh, chronic diseases of all kinds, including malignancy, can be increased with obesity. Now we're looking at the COVID-19, and it can also be worsened uh, with, with obesity. Also for young folks, I don't think people are talking about this enough, that vaping can be a huge factor. So when people are, are, you know, are vaping, it, it seems like they may be at increased risk. Now what happens, right? They, when you vape, you take particulates that are, you know, um, taking small vapor particles that are going into your lungs and then they're little trapped micro particles of liquid and they go in and inflame the lungs and so it is the perfect perfect scenario for people to have a complication from the COVID because you're predisposing you're already setting up your lungs for damage so it's really really important um, to, to talk about that and so if if there's any it's been a better chance better time to stop vaping I talked about multiple times um, during um, some of the newscasts on ABC Detroit last year, we talked about, you know what, that vaping can cause death. And now we're realizing, you know what, that vaping is now also a risk factor for this pandemic. We've got to just say it like it is. got to stop immediately. As we're smoking, smoking, there's never been a better t time, right, to stop smoking. This is also another risk factor where you're helping the virus, right? You're helping the virus do what get get things even even worse than it than it, than it has been so very very important never been a better better time to stop smoking and, and stop uh, vaping what else what else do we think that we knew before we don't know now that we knew know better now Hispanics and African Americans I remember there was a question uh, that somebody asked me and said you know this doesn't seem to be affecting African Americans is it going to spare African Americans unfortunately the opposite has happened right we now know that African Americans and Hispanic Americans are being hit much harder than other racial uh, groups in this country. So again, all of us should be vigilant. Right? All of us should be doing the things we're supposed to, social distancing, disinfecting our, our, our you know, areas, common areas that we're traveling, washing our hands, and, and making sure we're not touching our face and our mouth, and trying to you know, limit the, the trips that we have to places like grocery stores, places like drug stores, uh, where you can, again, you know, face the infection. So it's really, really important to, to, to tell you that. Now, um, what? remember, we're going to get this data more and more, but I think African Americans, Hispanic Americans should be even more vigilant than everybody else to, to really, you know, have distancing and do the things you're supposed to.